Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is the next 24 hours love and general opportunity tarot reading session for Leo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good wherever you are right now. I hope you are smiling and happy and healthy together with your family and friends and loved ones. This is the next 24 hours love and general opportunity that reading session for you. Thank you, Leo, for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting my channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you're interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Leo, I invite you to please check out my website, sunshine-tv.com. Subscribe in my newsletter via website because I'm sending links and update about um you know full moon blog about you know what's coming towards the channel and update and love notes so please if you are interested to connect with me further uh follow me on my website and that is me apologies i'm not offering private reading right now there is a full moon happening on the 26th of may 2021 um we have already uploaded the blog the written blog on how um, the full moon will impact Leo sign. If you would like to have a two, three minutes read, I encourage you to check out the website, okay? So this is your reading, Leo. Let's start your reading, okay? First card is you've got the four of pentacles in upright position. You've got a six of swords. Um, it's telling you to change your mind. Mm. Nine of pentacles. It's not done. It's not over. I feel like this is a love energy change of heart and mind this is you know hold back like you know don't don't do don't do things impulsively because i feel like you're moving on or saying goodbye or you're closing to a door closing you're closing your you're closing your door to opportunity at work or a relationship a lover which actually they might reach out this week because I'm seeing here the moon. Look at the moon and it's pink and the uh, the full moon happening this week is the Sagittarius full moon and it is a spring. It's a, it's a, a flower full moon because it's the full moon and it's eclipse happening in spring. Check it out, guys. It's in Google. Um, so hold your thoughts hold on um don't make a drastic uh decision making to say goodbye to break up if you don't mean it because nine of pentacles in reverse there's so much reason to stay yeah reason to stay mm. so chillax this week I mean, let go of thinking about this person. Let go of control. Just put put all of your energy to yourself. Um, I'm hearing the word watch a movie, um, read a book, because this person will come back to you in due time. Okay? And yeah, I saw 333, three, three minutes and 33 seconds. So relax. It's not yet goodbye. It's probably a temporary thingy, a truce don't say something you don't mean most specifically it's a breakup and hold your thought about goodbye breakup or things you don't mean to say okay they will be back in due time all right this is applicable in relationship and um i don't know it could be finances as well so just relax this week don't do um you know big big decision making hold off all right hold off next reading is you've got a six of cups i feel like this is family all right so i'm hearing like leo it's about family they will be okay they will be fine i think leo you're worried about someone's health it could be overseas you're worried about you're worried about something with regards to health issues or receiving um, a not so good update about health it could be you it could be a friend it could be a relative it could be someone from long distance but it will the you know the devil card is in reverse um 
there's something that they will find or there's some sort of findings but it's not as worse as it is um, there is a precaution and it's fixable if it's medical it it can be cured it could go through a medication but it will be fine um, you know prevention is better than cure so this is a red flag a small red flag a reminder to take care of someone's health or to take care of your health so you know to be preventative of this i don't know disease or sickness or i don't know bacteria you know um create a very good health you know a meal plan or exercise but it it can be com you can combat this disease or this delay or this health issue it's not the worst it is you know it has been predicted it's been diagnosed so focus on being healthy and also being good being in a good mood and you know as much as possible getting out of the house and you know spending time you know fresh air and sun sunshine okay and a lot of water a lot of water and i'm also hearing the word less like i don't know fatty foods like i'm seeing yellow fatty oily foods okay and um more fish yeah more fish like white white meat yes yes thank you spirit so yeah so that's the second reading and um the third reading okay you've got the empress card again it's connected to here empress card this is vitality beauty physical appearance radiance um but it's in reverse so you're being advised to look at look at your weight look at your skin look at the physical appearance there's something in there that you need to pay attention um i don't know wrinkles maybe it's time it's time your schedule to indulge yourself and do some spa facial but it's about if it this is i feel like external and then the empress card i feel like this is you so health is wealth look at that star card look at that health health is wealth neo so first and foremost take care of yourself um do some cleansing um gut gut you have i don't know you've got this oily skin for some of you guys do some uh, cleansing seven of cups also not just physical cleansing but emotional cleansing purge those thoughts that is you know those thoughts those angry thoughts those screaming thoughts that is producing you to have low vibe or get rid of the thoughts that's make you that get rid of the thoughts that is making you angry so do some emotional cleansing and physical cleansing so by the month of june you're all set up you know um i feel like this sagittarius full moon that is set up at the end of may it is to recalibrate us on what we have achieved in the last six months because the next we've finished half of the year of 2021 we have survived we are breathing we're blessed we're grateful so what is next project that you're going to be doing in the next six months productivity for yourself in relationship and your ambition don't forget that okay your coin um so this is your reading okay it's a very reflectionary you know love is sorted so it's more of taking care of your mental your emotional and physical because i really feel like this is um this reading is more of you know of 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 reminding you leo to get ready the next six months it is crazy in love and in life okay get ready thank you guys um stay happy healthy keep on smiling keep on shining and uh thank you for your support check out the link down in the description box below it is a two to two to three minutes read about the full moon um written blog um happening this week and how it's gonna affect your sign so enjoy and i'll see you soon bye bye